we're driving crazy. Welcome to the South. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to a junkyard. This is one that I haven't really been to probably over a year. Today a 2000 EX Coupe popped up and it looked like it had some pretty interesting stuff on it. Maybe some rare stuff. I don't know. We'll have to see when we get there. We're on the way now. We got to have to take a gas so obviously we can drive to California if we really wanted to but it's only about 40 minutes away so we'll be able to make it there in about 17 times at least. After that we're going to go to another yard, another LKQ. That's the local one that I always go to. You guys saw me find the S2000 there. No new Hondas in that. Uh, there is an Impreza. I think it's a 99 or 2000 Outback Sport. There's a couple of pieces on that that I would like to have uh, just for reselling purposes or whatever to cover the cost of the money that I spend today. And that's something that I like to do whenever I go to the junkyard. I like to buy some things that I can just slap on eBay, slap in a Facebook group, marketplace, whatever, just to make my money back. So basically the parts that I buy are free. If you guys aren't doing that, you probably should be doing that. On the way now, and I'll see you guys. We started out on a Wednesday and I couldn't figure out why you would be mad at me. Who are you say it's nothing but it never ever changes, just like that. It's always whatever anyway, every time we try to talk, I am out of here any day. It's always something that we never ever changes, just like that. We found that Civic and there's a guy on it right now. So I told him he got there first so he can take what he wants and I will come back. We'll be getting back to that. But for now, while we wait, I'm going to go look at that Impreza and see what kind of goodies are on it. This thing is beat, y'all. Beat. No way. This right here is the find of a century. Holy crap. All right, so for those of you who don't know a whole lot about these old Imprezas, these rubber boots are extremely hard to find. And also, the console pieces here too, which I have been looking for one of these consoles in black for so long. Because mine's like a fake carbon fiber, and I don't really like it. I've never seen one of these in a yard before. That vent looks good, so we're going to be taking that. Unfortunately, this one has seen better days. Here's the haul off the Impreza. Got the driver's side hood vent. And then this is the big ticket. Hopefully this shifter bezel cleans up good and I can use it in my car, but we'll see. So this is going to be our haul. The Civic ended up being kind of a bust other than this. There's a guy on it the whole time. I asked him if he was cool with filming. He said not really. Cool guy though, but um, I couldn't really film as much of it as I wanted to. I got a little bit of a clip, but it was a 2000 EX automatic. So, I mean, really nothing good. The uh, Mugen valve cover that was on it, somebody had already taken. And then that guy was taking all of the other aftermarket stuff as well. So the only thing I really could get from it was this shifter console piece. Um, it's in a little bit better shape than mine. Mine has some pretty big gashes right here. This one's pretty clean. And then as you guys saw, we got these two off of that Outback Sport Wagon. And you know, these right here, well, this mainly is kind of worth it for me personally. I've been looking for one of these for quite some time finally found one in a junkyard i just think it's super cool and uh, not sure what we're gonna do with it we may sell the boot we may keep this i don't know we'll see but that's the haul from junkyard number one so let's go ahead and go to junkyard number two got an eg with some spacers in the back oh man this thing's big picked this just came in here like a couple days ago and everything is good lord. This thing got definitely picked. Motors there. Eh? Cool. This is what we came for. 
always gotta check. Yes, sir. Taking that. Wow, this interior is really, really clean. I'm gonna take the sun visors. Is that in one piece? Hold on. Well, that's a good score. That is actually broken in my RS. So now I have one. Cool. Got this Integra. I don't know about Integras. So don't know a whole lot about these series. Oh, this thing is riced out. Oh my. I should have known that by looking at the uh, engine bay. Everything's painted. Look at that. I just took a spray can to it. <laughs> he loves haters. He trusts no bitch. He's slow and nasty. Nice. Moving on. Got a Miata here. Definitely picked clean. And the motor's gone. Oh, it's still there. And the transmission. Cool. That's a white hood. Good boy. Don't worry. It's for sale. That yard was kind of a bust. The only thing we ended up taking was this center console cup holder piece for my RS. That was the second yard, so now we are gonna go ahead and try and get into the third. Hopefully people are there working today, so let's ride. All right, so it is day two. I've decided to kind of continue this video on, and we're at a brand new junkyard, but this is one of those weird ones that's like mom and pop, and it's in the middle of the ghetto, so it's like, it's real sketchy, but I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and show you guys what's going on. So we got all kinds of stuff to look at. So I'm just gonna wander around and I'll film whatever I find. I like places like this because I'm the only one here. And I can see a coop right there. So we might get lucky and find a find the door card that we're looking for, maybe some other stuff. So we're gonna walk around. Got our first find. Unfortunately, it's a 98, I believe, auto, but it is an EX. But the bad part, it's gray interior and the door card's gone, which is what I really need. And there's nothing else really in here that I could use. There is also a sedan right here, an EX. Automatic. Looks like it's also a 96 to 98. It smells awful in this car. Mostly there. But I mean, that, that car over there is extremely clean, like in very good condition. So we're just gonna keep walking around and see what we can find. Look what we just stumbled upon. Unfortunately, it's a four-door, so it doesn't help me out. But it is a 99 to 2000, and the whole front end is there. And it's in good shape. If you guys wanna do a 99 2000 front end conversion, go to your local backwoods junkyards, man. This is how you're gonna do it. You guys gotta stop going to the mainstream junkyards trying to find parts, because they're always gonna be gone. There's no telling how long this car has been sitting here and all of this is still there. So that's crazy. Came across this CRV. Ooh, it's got some goodies on it. Look at that. I wonder if it's a five speed. Five speed? Cluster. We're gonna be taking that for sure. I've actually never seen a CRV five speed cluster in the yard before. So we may or may not be putting this in my Civic or may or may not be selling it. Who knows? Cause these go for a pretty decent chunk of change, but man, I cannot, as soon as I saw that five speed shifter through the window, I was like, yep, it's going down. We're going to take that and keep moving along. See what else we can find. So we just paid, got the CRV five speed cluster for 20 bucks. And I also, 
grabbed these. Now, you'll notice mine is broken. I pulled this one out of that one Civic, the first two door that I showed you guys. And I was like, okay, well, if it works, it's great. It doesn't match, but at least it'll work. And then the CRV had the same color as mine. And I looked at the faces and I was like, oh, it's the exact same thing. Well, then you go on the back side and you'll notice that they are a little bit different. And I'm hoping I can just plug the CRV one in and it'll work. Check it out. We pop the CRV one in and it works. Check the right side. Yep, that one works too. Hell yeah, now let's see. Popped right in. Now both mirrors work. That's what I'm talking about, dude. See, I love stuff like that. He gave me both of these for a dollar and we're good to go. Now I have this one for no apparent reason. So if anybody needs one of these, well, let me know. We're gonna try and go to another yard and see if they're open. So the next yard that I was trying to go to, they were closing down as soon as I got there. So I ended up coming to this one, which I haven't been to about a year, something like that. This is a pretty weird yard. They got a lot of stuff like stacked up everywhere. But uh, we're gonna go digging through it. That's fun. And here is the first. Okay. Right over here. Uh, 96, 98. Automatic. EX though. Unfortunately, it is automatic, so. Alright, this is a good sign. We got another sedan up here. That one's rough. I don't even know if I can get up there. Well, let's see. So that one ended up being an auto base model. I should have known by the gray trim. See how that one has paint match trim? DX. That one's probably like a DX or something. So, nothing we can use there. Got a Miata just hanging out up there. Seats look really nice from what I can see from down here. Very nice. Man, it sucks that these cars, oh, those are cool seats. It sucks that these cars are so dog shit that they end up in a junkyard so much, but they are good looking cars, I think. Man, a lot of sedans, no coupes. Automatic, it is an EX though, but nothing we can really use. I don't see these in the junkyard anymore. Two forty. I think this is an EK. Gray interior. Driver door gone, of course. And this thing is smashed. Automatic, so no gauge cluster. Man, that thing is smashed. Guys, I think this is an original. Midori green hatch and it's just sitting at the top of this pile man that is unfortunate it looks like it's been painted over though I can't tell well that's a different door all right so after further looking this thing's moving around a lot although I really want that cluster I don't think it's worth getting in that car, potentially tipping it over and getting hurt. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to pass on that tack cluster. But I believe this is a Midori green hatch, which kind of sucks to see it like this. But uh, let's move on. Just finished up at this yard, ended up being a bust. The only thing I found that was kind of worthwhile was that Midori hatchback and I did end up getting up to where I could get to the gauge cluster safely. I just decided not to take it because I talked to the guy at the front and they're cash only and 
only got about nine bucks on me, so decided not to take it. Unfortunately, the hunt for a door card continues. And uh, maybe we'll find one one day, maybe we won't.